Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Shireen. Guys, 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 I'm here with more gossip. Um, I want to talk about Amy Warrock and TJ Holmes. Um, about the recent infidelity, the affair that they've been having for months now, guys. Both allegedly left their spouses, so they're saying nothing is illegal about that. But um, a lot of people are questioning it. Even ABC Human Department is now questioning it and they're doing an investigation because they want to see if TJ is as honest as he said he is. And they're questioning him because allegedly this is not the first time he has had a fear, right, with co-worker in his department people want to know if this is repeated for tj because his behavior is um not right and if this is so it violate abc policy so i don't know what's the policy there if they had to separate from their spouse before they get involved but apparently they are investigating him because they don't believe that he had separated from mary lee before he had um, start dating Amy. So guys, both Amy and TJ are presently suspended or they're not at work. They took them off the year, if you want to call it that. And But Amy is going to return to work and not TJ. They will be investigating TJ. And I think the reason for that decision is that TJ has had a fear with his co-worker before. So I believe that is why they are investigating him. So I don't know if he's going to lose his job over this, unfortunately. But you know what? He's going to get what coming to him. So let us just look at um, TJ Pass. Right? So TJ was born in Memphis. He was born in August 19th, 1977. So he went to University of Arkansas where he majored in journalism. And then after finished school, he get his first gig with CNN as a news anchor. And there he met his wife, Amy. So this is another Amy, guys. So I love Amy's. So he met his, 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 his first wife. Her name is Amy Fertzen. And she's also a journalist. And she has two kids for him. So guys, he's been divorced before. He's been divorced before Mary Lee. Mary Lee's his second wife. So they got a divorce in 2007. He dated other women in between. Then he met Mary Lee in 2010. Um, I believe they got married in 2010. And then he has a child with Mary Lee in 2013. That makes the child nine years old. So guys, now it was alleged that he was talking to, he was um, having an affair with this woman named Natasha Singh who worked with GMA. Um, she's a producer there and she was living in New York at the time and they find time to see each other and the relationship went on three years. Can you imagine you have a husband and him go on with a relationship for three years merely had to put up with it. Now back to Amy Roebuck. So when TJ start working with Amy Roebuck, everybody notice how close they are. And the body chemistry was out of this world, right? They laugh together. They put out statement that they can um, finish each other thoughts, right? They know each other very well. She said she consider him a brother. Your brother in Marathid. Brother what? Mm, brother in your bed. Then Amy, Mary Lee was so concerned about Natasha that this blindsided her. She didn't even see this coming. Because Amy Roebuck, she and Mary Lee are good friends. They go out together. They pair up. Both parties. 
Amy and her husband, Andrew Singh, which is an actor, he and TJ Holmes, they went out together, dinner together. Um, Amy, daughter, babysit, Mary Leeds, daughter. So they have a close relationship. Plus, Natasha, who TJ was having an affair with, was also friend with Amy. And Amy used to console the two of them, talk about the relationship with both of them. So she knew, Amy knew that TJ was a dog. And Amy did nothing about it. And Amy and Mary Lee's friend. So Amy, no, Amy should have never put herself into that situation or in that space because Amy know that TJ is a dog, right? And then, no, Natasha doesn't talk to Amy because of the affair. Because obviously, she start talking to the man that they are no longer with. Right? So some rivalries there too. Right? But, I'm telling you, poor Mary Lee. Mary Lee is so, must have been just so stressed out. And Mary Lee must have even discussed it with Amy. Because Amy was there. Amy was in the middle. Right? She's just a, she, she, trust me, that woman... That woman, that woman is, not, that's what I'm telling you guys. When you have your man, do not let people come into your space. When you see a woman come into your space and them too close, you got to shake it up. You got to get rid of them. Because at some point, Amy invited TJ to join the running club. Now, are you telling me that Mary Lee sits there and didn't even see any of this going on. No man, she need no. Mm -mm. You know what too? When TJ was dating Natasha in the beginning, Mary Lee should have gotten rid of him because he had a relationship for three long years. And this was inappropriate. She should have get rid of him. She should have said, is it a me or her? And get rid of it. It couldn't have gone on. But she's sitting it. I don't know why. I don't know the circumstances. And I'm not going to sit here and judge her. Because we all do things that we regret later on in life. You see? And it still comes down to where he he's a dog. He's not going to change. A cheater will always be a cheater. He's a womanizer. That's what it is. He's a woman. He likes the adrenaline rush off a newness. New relationship. Now Amy get herself all caught up in all of this. But she should have known better because she see that TJ cheated before. Right? He cheated before. And she knew about it. She was consoling Natasha. Right? So it's not like she don't know about it. She's not innocent. Right? She did leave her husband, allegedly, before this all came out. So she did the right thing there. But TJ was holding on. Maybe he was holding on because he don't sure. Because he's a cheater. He do it all the time. So he knows... Right? He knows it's going to come to an end anyways. Now, everybody at um, ABC knew about the relationship accordingly to um, sources. Right? And some people were upset about it. Right? TJ and Amy, they both came off of social media because people, was throwing, they, people were there targeting them and telling them they're nasty. And sending them dirty messages and all that. And I don't blame them. Because ABC is a family channel. And this should not have gone on. Right? If you want to have a relationship with another woman apart from your spouse. End it with your spouse. And wait for a while before you take on this whirlwind romance. And like everybody think it is so cute. I didn't thought it was cute. I thought it was shit. Because... Poor Emily have to sit there and endure this. Poor Andrew Singh have to sit there and endure this. The both of them, it's not one life that is wrecked. It's both lives wrecked. Right? Plus, they have children that is involved. And the kids have to listen to this. The kids go to school. This nine-year-old girl, she goes to school. And, and I'm sure they are talking that her father is a cheater. Right? It is inappropriate and it's not nice. And then, now, he's been investigated. Why he's been investigated? I believe he's been investigated because he lied to the world. It's something that he has done before. His behavior in his, is, a, is inappropriate. Inappropriate. 
This guy's 45 years old. He have sense. He's not a teenager anymore. He was married to Mary Lee back in 2010. Why is he behaving like this? This is not his first marriage either. This is his second marriage. Who is the common denominator here? TJ is. He's a dog. I mean, and some men going to look at this. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Mary Lee's a lawyer. She can't get anybody she wants. She just need to put herself out there and don't limit herself. Right? She need to start dating other race, other people. I'm sure anybody will find her quite attractive. She is a quite attractive woman. And she's very, she's very homey looking. Right? And a lot of men love things, love women like that. Now, one advice for you women out there. When you see your husband and get too close to another woman, get rid of them. Get rid of them right away. Both running partner. Running partner, my ass. And he was the one who said, he was the one who gave an example. He says, oh, men must have put themselves into situation to cause them to cheat. And he even gave an example. And here what his example was. If you are downstairs in a bar and, and uh, rooms are upstairs, don't go there. He's talking about himself. That is a fraudulent slip, I think. He had his birthday gone August and he took his wife to, Barbie, to, to Bahamas. That's August, September, October, November, December. That's four months ago. They went to Barbados. Right? And the relationship was... They said that Amy left her husband in August also. But he was on a trip with his wife. So I don't know how that played out. Right? And only... Only God can tell me that he wasn't um, screwing her before. I think he was banging her the whole time. I believe that because everybody saw the chemistry online. Right? And they were getting cozy. Like they're laughing and they're giggling and their body language and they're very close. No, I'm going to tell you a story. So I had a friend who, who had a babysitter living at home. And that babysitter, they took that babysitter to a cabin. And everybody were there sitting around the fire. And they were all drinking. And guess what the babysitter said? She says, oh, I just love your husband. He, if I had a husband like that, I would do everything for him. That is my friend husband she was talking about. So my friend confided in me and tell me this. And I said to her, get rid of that woman out of your house immediately. Right? And so said, so done. She did get rid of her out of her house. Why? Because even though she was intoxicated, she knew exactly what she was saying. She says, if I had a husband like yours, I would worship him. Something to that effect. Now, to me... That is a threat there. That is a big red flag. You get the heck out of my house and when I'm gone to work, you're there with my husband. Hell no. You're going to just be gone. And then she said she noticed that the helper, would, the babysitter, would bring him coffee all the time. To me, that was inappropriate. And she liked him more than her. I said, no, get rid of that woman out of your house. You can't have things like that. No way. But you know what? We just sit back and think that nothing is going to happen and the guy love us and what not, not. No, no. Some women are snakes. They will take your man right out of your hand. And it doesn't have to do with that you don't treat your husband good or not. Men are like dogs and they will chase anything that opens. Right? You know a clothespin? A clothespin just go poop. And it open men will go there. Not every man, but most of them will. If it is free, they will take it. Right? And you got to understand that. That is that is that is that is that is psych 101 for you guys. You gotta know that. Now, I am so happy that ABC has decided to investigate this whole situation. Because guess what? It doesn't look good for their network. It doesn't stay well, stick well with a majority of the people. I'm just assuming here, guys. This, this channel is for entertainment and gossip only. Right? 
the infidelity is an inappropriate he did it before and he's going to do it again and i heard that he had done it before with other co-workers yes this guy like to fling himself around him love to share his love and that's what he loved to do he loved to bang other people wives too right he likes married women it seems right he likes the adrenaline rush of it he likes the fact that he had to hide some people get turned on about that. Them have to hide the relationship so they love it. It just makes them go wild. It makes them go crazy. Because remember the other woman used to live in New York, which is Natasha, the producer of GMA. And what he did, he went to New York to see her. I'm wondering where is Mary Lee all of this? Man, it could not be under my guard. I'm sorry. I mean, I shouldn't say it couldn't happen under my guard. It could. But I'm telling you, I would end it so fast before it even begin. Yes, I would end it. Right? Because at one point, Mary Lee found love letter email going back and forth between them. Now, if you see a man and the man start to hide him phone, the man start to hide the lock up him computer... The man start to stay out late. The man behavior change. Don't ignore it. Men, anytime at all, men have a relationship with another woman. Them always change their behavior. They are not us. They are not us. It is very clear. Trust me, if you look, you'll see the signs. They, they, they always change. They always, they, they always try to find fault at you. They always tell you how there's something wrong with you. Or you're not doing this. Or you need to. There's always signs. When you see them start to criticize you. Take note of it. When you see them start to find fault. Take note of it. Anyhow guys. I am happy. That he's going to get what coming to him. Unfortunately. He deserve it because. He's a womanizer. And you know what. Even though whatever he's doing, there is no law against it. But you need to have some morals and some respect for the place that you work, your place of work. Take your dirty life somewhere else. Yes, take your dirty life somewhere else. Nobody say if you want to be a, a, a womanizer, go somewhere else. Right? Don't bring it and then everybody think it is so cute. Whirlwind romance. It is not cute and I don't find it cute. And Amy, you should be ashamed of yourself because you knew about the relationship with Natasha. You were the one who was the confidant there. And then now you taking Mary Lee, man from her. How dare you? You should be ashamed of yourself. Right? You don't have any feelings for another woman. You are a woman yourself. You should have never even do that. Trust me, I lost all respect with you. No, man, come on. You should have done better than that, right? We are all women. We should look out for ourselves. That is why these men take advantage of us as women, right? And look at you. You're playing just as doggish as, 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 as TJ. You knew about the relationship with Natasha. And then as soon as him get rid of Natasha, you pick him up. I wonder what TJ have so. TJ must have that... <laughs> The sugar stick. That means you must have something where everybody wants. So you know what comes to mind? <laughs> 50 Cent, the candy shop. So guys, I'm telling you, this is the bombshell. Oh my goodness, guys. Remember to share my video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.